Today, we're showing you how to make garlic confit. And we're gonna test out some garlic peeling methods to see what is the quickest and the easiest. And we personally think that garlic confit is worth the hype, but this recipe calls for eight whole heads of garlic peeled, and it is such a tedious task. So we wanna find a quick method. You'll also need fresh thyme, bay leaves, and high quality extra virgin olive oil. If you use a lower quality olive oil, it runs the risk of tasting bitter. So you could also use peanut, canola, or vegetable oil. And you'll also need a small baking dish. So the first method for peeling garlic that we've been using prior to testing out the methods in this video is separating the clove from the head, taking the flat side of your knife and smashing it down to loosen the skin. You wanna not hit it so hard that the cloves break like I did because whole cloves are preferred for the confit recipe. However, this method is not that quick. So we're going to test out two other popular methods to see if they actually work and we'll give you our honest opinion. The second technique is the shake method. Even Martha Stewart has used this method. You first have to separate the cloves from the root and then put them in your airtight container. This is all over the internet. I really did hurt myself with that, so I'm gonna let the mister take over. And if you're enjoying our video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. One, two. Oh, did that work? Three. Is that three or four? I lost count. That's four. That's four. Here's a fifth one. Six. All right, so it looked like it worked for like half of them, but that came out easily. Yeah, they, as long as it breaks them. I mean, it's just required, that required a lot of vigor. <laughs> like, your cheeks were undulating. <laughs> Use that word on a first date. Not bad. Requires a lot of effort though. Does it fast? Right. Requires a lot of vigor. Yeah, and you might slap your finger on it. <laughs> For the third method, take a damp paper towel and wrap it around a whole head of garlic and place it in the microwave for 15 seconds. The moisture in the heat helps to loosen the skin. it loosens them up a little bit. Probably depends like on the microwave and then if like you have to do it a few seconds longer get it a little bit more, you know? You want the cloves to be mushy or too hot to handle? Too hot to handle. I'm actually surprised. Yeah, it's pretty easy this, to peel by hand. This yeah. is pretty, this is an effective method. Yeah. I am, um, I think I might like this one best. Yeah. <laughs> might do all the rest of them. Yeah. We ended up using the third method for the remainder of the cloves. So once all your garlic is peeled, add it to a baking dish with fresh thyme, dried bay leaves, and olive oil. You want there to be enough oil to cover all of the cloves. Bake in an oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour, and then it's done. You can store in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to two months. And like we said at the beginning, we really do think it's worth the hype. We use this all of the time. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you got a lot out of it and we'll see you in the next one.